Uh, it's it's Henry. Jeez, this woman. I swear she has just as bad as memory as my wife. <laughs> Hi, Henry Mimi's good guy on my YouTube channel, and welcome back to more Firewatch! So, last time, what happened last time? Welp, we, uh, the communication lines went down last night in the storm, so it is our job to go out and see if we can figure out where the, the cut is at, all that sort of stuff. And, uh, let's actually take a look around here. Look at a glass cleaner. Let's, uh, it's, it's, uh, Sterilex. Oh, good. Oh, no! Apparently, it cuts my own wrists. That's a bad thing. Okay, let's put it back. <laughs> can we actually, like, put it back? Oh, oh no! What about the Scottish old soap? Okay, and the thermos? What about this? This is a nice thermos. I like this thermos. Okay, apparently we just... Alright, thermos, that's it! I've had enough of your garbage! You're going... Hold on, we gotta throw this over there. <laughs> gotta turn out the lights, make sure we're not wasting gas, you know? Alright, and uh, let's go out the door. Oh, we wanna... Oh no, what about our thermos? Oh, crap! How else are we supposed to litter all over the world? Hold on, let's try one more time. <laughs> Get pick up thermos, open door. There we go. Here comes the thermos. Be free, be free, wild thermos. Okay, slowly we're gonna have like nothing left inside of our little uh, <laughs> our little area because good guy Mike's have will have thrown it all away. Okay, let's uh, let's go on for a little a wee bit of a jog. So for those of you guys who do not know, last time uh, cables went down. So this time it's our job to uh, not only litter all over the place, but also go ahead and figure out where the cables went down. See, so survey communication lines to the north of Canyon. Okay, so let's look at the map. Um, I think we go to the right because we left is how we went last time. Yeah, there's Cripple Gulch. That's the lake in Thunder Canyon. I'm guessing it's. This hill right here by Thunder Canyon? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe it is Cash uh, Beartooth Point. I don't know. Supply drop, basin. We should go around and explore these eventually. Um, I wonder if we get in trouble for like going way off the path. Like if we went down to the medicine wheel. I'm kinda curious about the medicine wheel. Alright, we'll do that eventually though. Uh, it's probably locked off like how the sign was locked off. Okay, so we need to go to the right. Behind the poopy hut, right? Maybe? Poopy hut was to the right, correct? Or was it the left? Maybe. I don't. Oh, is that that's the thermos? Um, poopy hut. No, there it is. Okay, good. That's to the uh, that's the north. So we're heading north out of the place. Okay, so yeah, this is we're heading in the right direction then. Yeah, I just got confused on my directions a little bit. Okay, let's put the map away. Time to time to go and uh, talk to Delilah about the fallen tree. Oh yeah. Ooh, that wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower. I know, right? Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah. Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. Ooh. If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's nice to know. Oh, good. I can talk to her about the poop house. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then? <gasps> a baseball! The You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. <laughs> Number one, at least. That's true. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Oh, well, that's that's good to know. Good for you. I guess you're a strong, independent woman who don't need no toilet paper. <laughs> All right. I don't know what I'm going to do with this baseball, but uh, can I throw it? Pow! Oh, well, come on. I was hoping that I could, like, really zip it over the edge, but uh, I guess not. Okay. Let's, uh, what about over here? Pow! Go be free, baseball! Okay. Let's, uh, let's climb down this whole thing again. That's not how you- Oh! <laughs> that is not how you go down cliffs like that. Oh! Oh, man. For being a 50-year-old man, I, I get around pretty well, actually. I gotta, gotta be perfectly honest. Okay, let's go for a mosey, a bit of a mosey jog again. We'll go visit the, uh, the cave. I want to get the keys to go in that cave. Morning fog. Report fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. Fair. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Um... Talk about Bucket. I miss Bucket. Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. Beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. So this is up where that person hey, was climbing. Can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. So this is that hill where that guy hey, went. I don't think so. Why, have you? Pardon? Okay. 
good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Any idea what? I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you hmm. owned him with someone? Uh, yeah. Uh, should we ask about the call? Yeah, let's talk about Julia. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? <laughs> my wife. My wife. But you're here. Yeah, um... Ah! She's sick. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? Uh, uh, we'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. That's fair. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Interesting. So this, this is just the same path. So this is the path, because we saw that guy who was standing up at this point with the flashlight, so I was just curious if this led any... Uh, Kinda does actually. Where does this go? Where the hell did he go? Up into the the woods, maybe? Is there an actual path here? Hmm, interesting. Okay. Besides a waste of time, not a whole lot. Um alright, let's uh let's continue along. Sorry, I didn't mean to waste a period of time. That's interesting. And I consider bringing up the phone call to her, but honestly, sometimes in real life, if somebody's hiding something from you and you know about it, sometimes you let them keep hiding it from you. To see... see how they'll behave. Because sometimes people have to hide things from you. Um, and it's not malicious. And then other times it is. So, it's always good to get a bearing of when it is and isn't malicious, you know? Is this, uh... This is just that same path, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It totally is. Okay. So I don't mean to go wasting... This is an open world game! It's pretty impressive, you know? I really want to explore it. So, uh... Anyways, we're gonna... we're gonna let her keep, uh... Keep being, or keep, you know, whoever she's talking to. I'm guessing it's just another ranger. Probably talking about the fires or something like that. Or, you know, if I'm fully aware of all the to all the dangers or something like that. I doubt it's anything, like, supernatural or spooky like that, you know. Um, that she's she's the axe murderer who's coming to kill me, anything like that. So I need to go up up this hills somehow, somehow eventually, right? I'm heading in the, in the right direction, aren't I? Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah we are. Okay, so that's that's where we want to go. To cache number three. Oh yeah, so that's the, I'm guessing... Yeah, so that's, that little dotted line is the telephone line that comes through. So, I'm gonna go check the, the line eventually and see if it was... If it got blown down. Um, do we go through the cave again or do we go around the cave? So, uh, no, we definitely go through the cave down to the... The, the area again. Whatever it is. Oh boy, the way he goes down these freaks me out. Like that's such a way to just blow out your knee. <laughs> that's uh This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Huh. Makes sense. Although Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah. Yeah. I really but wanted to go through you there. Can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. <laughs> Aw, sorry, Hank. Uh, it's it's Henry. Jeez, this woman. I swear she has just as bad as memory as my wife. <laughs> sorry, that's maybe maybe an inappropriate thing to say. I don't know. I thought it was funny. Fuck you guys. You can't get offended by that. Come on, line up. It's a joke. Um. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't give you guys enough credit. You guys, uh, you guys, for, how, like, um, crude my humor is sometimes. You guys do, uh, you guys don't get mad about anything. So I gotta give you, gotta give you credit for that. Alright, let's see. Well, probably not gonna have any naked women today, which is kind of a, a bugger. Are we heading in the right direction? Okay, yeah, we totally are. Um, so no naked skinny dippers again today. That's kind of a bugger, but, you know. Say la vie. We'll uh, we'll have to find some uh, you know. We'll we'll get a beach ball or, or a volleyball, and we'll paint a face on that, and we'll give it a bra, and then we'll take the bra off it occasionally and throw it in the water and claim that that's a skinny dipper. Hey, look, there's a 
uh, one of the utility poles is up. Oh, whoops. So those are my, those are my notes. Um, I'm going to do shift. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Totally. Sounds good. All right. Let's uh, continue up here. Boy, we're going to get in such shape. Look at running these hills like this. Ah, oh, going to have calves for days. We're going to have kegels. Not kegels. <laughs> kankles. <laughs> kankles. Um, what, what are we repo reporting now? We already reported that, right? Um... So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Yeah, really. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Fair enough. Um, can we go up this way? Just follow... What's, what's this path say? Does this path continue along it? Um, the bear points... What are these around the base? Oh, they're just stabilizers for it. I swear I saw some sort of, like... Oh. It's a little dilapidated outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once. I think. Whoa, uh, y you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. <laughs> I mean, uh, I I'm in the right area. I do believe uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Alright, sounds good. Uh, there is an old notepad here, though, so, uh, let's report it. Uh, I found it. an old notepad of, uh, I guess, songs. Someone was writing a song called Old Shoshone. Old Shoshone, where the sky is blue and the teens are nude. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's just like that, except about ten times more depressing. Yeah, I'm off to where the birds and the trees won't know me, where men, um... Oh, the war don't exist no more, and there ain't no gallo to keep m no score. I'm taken off to the woods. Don't need no na na what? Don't need no pal. I'll change my mind for most because I can be me in old Shoshone. So this uh, now the next question is this is this a, is this a refrain? It's a long ass refrain. Um, interesting. So is this something that somebody actually wrote, or is this a, like, uh... Oh, yeah. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, we're definitely gonna keep that. Hold it in our bag. We're gonna keep everything we can, honestly. Um... Can we still... If I'm near the outhouse, I'm going the right way. That's, uh... That's, uh... We already reported that, so let's continue. Continue onward! Onward to great justice! There are many, many telephone poles that are yet to be discovered. Okay, here we go. Uh, we should move some of those out of the way, you know? Um... Alright, well then, it's, uh... Oh, look it! It looks like it is down, actually. That's, uh... That's not good. But the pole's still up. That's interesting that the pole... No, there's definitely a disconnect between the two of them. Oh, there's a supply box as well! Oh man, I wonder what cool stuff we're gonna get now. Hold on. I'm gonna go to the supply box first. Because I can! Because I'm driving the car! And there ain't nothing you can... Is that just a spooky bush rustling? Ain't no cattle rustlers or something like that? Okay, come on. Go over there! Right. Okay, hold on. We'll go to that. Oh, whoops. I, uh... Boy, you really do just take a leisurely stroll. I mean, I guess you are just a normal human being, you know? Um... Oh yeah, that's totally cut. Hold on. Let's go check the box. Alright, here we go! Come on, big money, big money. All right, one, two, three, four. There we go. I'm waiting for the one that's not like that. Okay, so let's copy the information from the map. Let's see, it tells me where the cash is. Take note, read it. What's his note say? What do you say? Dave, hey yo, got your note about needing to talk. And sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon. Helping the grad students. I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyways. We're co-workers, you know, um, you know? Amigos, professionals. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, uh, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with that life stuff. You get it? Later, Ron. Or who's... Traveling Ron's your guy. Oh, that's weird. Okay, sure. We'll take this one. Um, okay. 
Looks like a bunch of useless crap in here. Pine cones and wood and stuff like. I guess no. I guess you could use that to start like like a fire if you get trapped out here. But for my current situation, it's a little useless. Okay, can we jump down this? Yeah, here we go. Ooh, that was a. This guy handles those jumps in stride, you know. Considering that uh, that's a decent fall, you know, that's an easy way to blow out your knee. I think I've said that before, but boy, it just doesn't get old seeing seeing this old man go at it. All right. Um. Hmm. Hey, so. There are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Yeah. Um, why do you think they're, they'd are they be up here? Why yeah. do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Oh, boy. And there's more of them. Gotta pick up all again. I've gotta clean up, clean up the evidence. You know that way, that way when you know the police show up because uh, two dead girls show up in the water. You know, then I'm not a primary suspect because I wiped all the fingerprints away. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't know how that works, but it does. Um, what's that say? Go to hell? Ah, uh, hell. All right. Whoops. So, uh, yeah. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. Yeah. It looks like it was cut deliberately. How would somebody... I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. <laughs> yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Oh. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. It's not a bad idea. I'll find them. <laughs> Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. I'm going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Okay, cool. Beer cans, all that sort of stuff. Big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. Yeah, totally. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. So is that a shirt? I'm trying to figure out if that's a shirt or not. Yeah, go to hell. It looks like a shirt. Okay. I was trying to figure out if that was, like, graffiti or something else, you know, that old deal. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a guess and say that we f probably follow the follow the beer cans to their their uh, way. At least, you know. Man, how many how many beers can these people drink? Listen, I know I'm a, I know I'm a lightweight, but, like, seriously, <laughs> I, I drink, like, I drink two beers and I'm on my butt. That said... I'm the legal drinking age, guys, so if you're not the legal drinking age, don't drink. I would feel obligated as a moral figure. Because <laughs> all you guys come to uh, Good Guy Mike's channel to uh, get your moral guidelines. That and, like, South Park and video games, you know, that's where you get your morals, right? That's, uh... Huh, spooky little cavern here. Um... Actually, this might be where they went... Considering that there's no beer cans over in that other direction. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. <laughs> okay. So can we clear it, or...? Okay, nope. We can't clear it, so we gotta actually find, like, a toolbox. Which is funny, because we have a toolbox in our place, but whatever. <clears throat> Listen, if a grown man can't get past it, there's no way that those teen, two teen girls get to it. Although, I'm a little bit... 
interested in how two teen girls manage to, uh, you know, climb out to the middle of the wire and cut it. Um, you know, sort of a, sort of an interesting prospect. Did I miss a beer can somewhere? Hmm. Well. <coughs> excuse me. Hmm. Maybe? Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. <laughs> mm, that is a pickle. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. <laughs> I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Alright, fair enough. Um, so let's see. Thurbo drop. Two Forks Fire Lookout, Jonesy Lake. We're two miles? Really? Um, let's see, hold on. <clears throat> so where are we? Oh, we are pretty far away. Okay, so we got a um, supply drop. Let's go up to the supply drop real quick. What the hell? We'll go up to the supply drop, then we'll come down to the lake. Um, unless it does something weird where it won't let us go there, but I mean, heck, let's, uh, let's go. Because then maybe we'll get like a, a hatchet or something like that that we can use to clear brush. You know, we could be a real... A bushman. You know what they say. Do you know what they say? I don't. I, I was asking you. Okay, supply drop, 60 feet. Cool. I like I like how it claims to be two miles, but it's it's clearly not. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see if the supply drop is uh, a one. Oh, no! Time's up, actually. Okay, hold on. We'll see what's inside the supply drop. Three, four. Yep, no. Nope. I'm waiting for the box. It's not... Okay. Moss Peak, two forks. Oh, it's empty. Really? Well, hell. That was a that was a, a letdown. Okay, well, anyways, let's uh let's end on this uh this beautiful view and say thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. It helps me out a whole lot. Stick around for the next episode. I love this game and I'll play the whole game um on the channel. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. You guys keep you guys and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye! Yeah.